away now, Indian fans. It's been a procession. 9 2 naught, 4 naught, 8 4 naught, 4. So nobody in double figures. It is uh, an unbelievable batting card. There were former cricketers who talked about uh, a 4 0 win now for Australia, whitewashed and stuff like that. Not just former Australian cricketers who were in the commentary box or who were in the media. But everybody said, well, this Indian team is, is going to be run over by the Australians. You want at the end of a career in sport to have seen glorious highs, right? It doesn't always happen. You see, you see the 36 for nines as well. This 36 was a huge shock to us and said that, you know, can we recover from this? It took a long time to recover from 42 mentally. When a performance like this, what do you do? You take back bitter memories. There's utter remorse. It was going to take the most ridiculous comeback to, to be able to win the series. I mean, I don't think anyone had on their mind that India could win the series. You know, there are moments when a team is tested. I think when you are able to come out of the fire and, and then uh, emerge triumphant, it makes it special. Surpuru hota hai insaan ke baad jaise rang lati hai na पत्थर पे घिस जाने के बाद ये मुझे पूरा यकीन था कि इस चीज को दोबारा हम शायद इस श्रृंखला में ना देखें और यहां से टीम इंडिया को उठ के वापस आना पड़ेगा एडिलेड का वाक्य अगर तुम्हारा था ऑस्ट्रेलिया तो मेलबर्न की दासता हमारी है That was absolutely devastating. To be bowled out for 36, all of the media was up in arms um, with India saying, there's no way they can get out of this. They're a very difficult time because you see what happened was, it was just one session where they were just blasted out, you know? And you've played well for six sessions, seven sessions, and suddenly one session, you're gone. All of us who spend time in Australia on tours like this are telling ourselves, it's going to be very difficult to get yourself up from there. I was hoping that they would recover, but I feared that we would not. I really felt that the series was gone. Gents, we have the head coach of the cricket team, Mr. Ravi Shastri. You treat every test match as a new one, where you want to do the same thing as you did in the last one, if the result is the same as the last one. Ravi is a very positive person in his utterances. I've worked with Ravi for a very, very long time and Ravi just say it, says it. One of the things I know about leadership is that when the wounds are raw, you don't say anything at all. Just let the breeze come and blow the 36 for 9 out of the window and get up the next morning and say, right, now what are we going to do about it? But when the wounds are raw, you never go after anybody. And I think Ravi is clever enough, uh, clever enough to understand that he'd seen a lot of ups and downs in his life. He was somebody who made the most of his ability to play the, uh, the number of test matches that he did for India. So from, and, and, and Ravi is very good at lifting people who are down. So, I mean, a lot of people think, you know, uh, Ravi is very hyperbolic, bombastic, you know, uh, he's always in your face and uh, never say die, but I, in Bombay language, I, what we, what I call him is GTU. GTU means Gire Tobi Tang Upar. So, even if I'm down, how dare you say I'm down, you know, I'm still there, don't, you know, I'm going to fight till the finish. At that point in time, it seemed, you know, lunacy. What are you doing? Wear this as a badge. You know, you bowled bowl out for 36. But hey, what you're telling the players is blank out immediately what's happened and think afresh. Saying that, you know, wear this 36 as a badge 
Because when you look at that badge, you, rem uh, you, you, you remember it and it should hurt you. That all, we, you know, it was, we were knocked out for 36, we we're going to do much better. I think Ravi, if he was not a successful Indian cricketer, would have been uh, made for Australia. Uh, because that's the kind of spirit he brings uh, both on and off the field. He's a great motivator and somebody who's also himself, you know, motivated himself to achieve more than, you know, the kind of ability that he had. Ravi Shastri started off as a number 10, number 11 batsman, eventually became a successful opener for India. Because Ravi used every ounce of talent that God had provided him. And he always believed he was better than the opposition. Then even if the opposition is Sir Viv Richards. And he's one of the guys who can stand there and say, I scored a double century at Sydney. I was a champion of champions out here. If I can do it, you can do it. And he's the kind of guy who turned around and said, them, you know what, you're more talented than me. And if I could do that much, so can you. I can imagine him saying in his booming voice, you know, What's gone is gone. Let's focus on the next one and we're going to come back hard and that kind of stuff. We never thought Adelaide the test match really existed. We, we took it aside and we just thought there were only three test matches where we came to play and uh, it's going to start in Melbourne. You could just hear Ravi Shastri in the dressing room just jeeing up all his players and then you have Ajinkya Rahane who's this really calm, relaxed guy. I call Ajinkya Rahane the Amol Palekar of Indian cricket because I think he brings a certain honesty, simplicity and uh, dare I say someone who is able to be tough without having to express his toughness and thereby is a calming figure in a dressing room. He's almost Buddha-like. I've always known Ajinkya Rahane to be a man of steel. I didn't ever think he'd be the greatest Indian batsman ever, but I, I knew that he'd extract every ounce of himself. Just quiet. Sometimes strength is determined by volume, by your utterances. It might have been a blessing in disguise that uh, Virat had to go home for the birth of his first child, simply because Ajinkya Rahane is a completely different man. Um, completely different emotional captain. I, f I felt it was almost mildly insulting to the other players, right? That you're just saying, oh, Virat is gone, Virat is gone, all will the team go? He's a great player, but he is one out of another 11. So now that he's gone, instead of focusing on, oh, the team without Virat, the team without Virat, let's focus on the 11 who are there. You have a guy who has played a lot of test cricket, who's strategically proven himself, who's very calm, got the backing of the team, right? You've got some other senior players there as well. Virat is a dominant personality. He's what you call Alpha Wolf. Ajinkya will step back a little bit and say, okay guys, tell me how it's done. So the Ashwins of the world, the Rohit Sharmas of the world, the other senior players of the world, they will come up and say, why don't we try this? Why don't we put this? A very good morning and welcome to the Melbourne Cricket Ground for the second Vodafone Test match between Australia and India. As soon as the toss was over, Ajinkya Rane was asked, what would you do? And he said, of course we would have batted. And I said, right, this, this, this guy's forgotten 36 for 9. He wants to say, right, we'll go out and bat Boxing Day morning. You can get all, as many people as you want, watching, whatever the tradition. But I am going to go out and bat. Please join me in welcoming the teams to the arena. India, led by captain Ajinka Rahane, and Australia, led by captain Tim Pai. Then on the first day, I see these guys coming out. And the minute I saw them walking out, uh, I was like, okay, this is good. This, we're gonna be all right. There was this real band of brothers vibe to all of them. A very happy band of brothers. It was like, we will, live for each other, we will die for each other, we will play for each other, we will bleed for each other. I felt that vibe that was coming. Welcome to the MCG in the Boxing Day Test Match, one of the iconic days in the international calendar.
असफलता एक चुनौती है स्वीकार करो क्या कमी रह गई देखो सुधार करो बिना कुछ किए जय जयकार नहीं होती और कोशिश करने वालों की कभी हार नहीं होती बिग डे फॉर रहाने कैप्टन इन इंडियन ओवर एट कोहली ऑफ कोर्स बैक एट होम बॉक्सिंग डे टेस्ट मैच ऑस्ट्रेलिया भारत आमने सामने यहां मेलबर्न क्रिकेट ग्राउंड पे ओह दैट्स अ पेच एब्सोल्युट ब्यूटी फ्रॉम बूमर for a duck and india open boxing game with a bang when rahani took over from kohli in 2017 for that test i thought he was tremendous tactically and he, he lifted his men and already signs now he is one person that can just try and create that calm atmosphere around the group especially after something like that in adelaide where they would have been absolutely devastated but just to to be able to not panic you have ajinkya constantly in dialogue with the bowlers and uh, from every indication ajinkya rahane is a thinking cricketer and you need a thinking cricketer who will work with the bowlers who will not intimidate them but is seen to be uh a uh, almost like a a guide you suddenly saw when ajinkya became captain on the field suddenly i was like oh hang on is i think uh bumrah is captaining the fast bowlers ashwin is captaining kind of all the bowling uh you've got pujara kind of setting field once in a while it was almost like ajinkya wanted another 10 captains with him on the field ashwin saying his piece as well as rahane and everyone getting involved that the more experienced players within the group it feels like they've been galvanized together that they have to work together to be able to win this test match what happens is that when you make other players in the team feel important then they also want to do the do their best they also want to give more than their best so ravi ashwin gets his opportunity Yeah, interesting move here from Rahane. I don't mind it actually. Ball's still quite new and there'll still be a fair bit of seam there, so uh, it might just grip and, and there's plenty of grass, so it might just spin. Interesting field in place as well. Uh, the short leg is quite fine behind square leg, halfway between a leg slip and short leg. Yeah! Really bounced. Slips were interested immediately. Nice start. Really bite and turn. It's amazing. He's straight into his work here, Ashwin. They realize that if you want to get the best out of Ashwin, get wickets from Ashwin, you bowl him very early in the innings. He was able to get the ball to turn because see, with the Kukabura ball, once the ball becomes about 30, 40 overs old, the seam flattens out. और स्पिनरों को एक्चुअली उभरी हुई सीम के साथ गेंदबाजी करने में मजा ज्यादा आता है आनंद ज्यादा आता है एंड सो देयर फॉर मे बी वन ऑफ द रीजंस व्हाई ही वाज आस्क्ड टू बॉल वाज टू बी एबल टू गेट दैट हार्ड सीम टू ग्रिप एंड टर्न एज़ वेल 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 फर्स्ट मॉर्निंग ऑफ अ टेस्ट मैच फील्ड इज अंडरनीथ इट गुड हैश फॉर नाउ इट्स टू डेंजरस ओह दे होल्ड ऑन इवेंचुअली And India have a wicket early on. Spin has a wicket early on. Out in the middle now, Steve Smith on uh, one of the finest days of the year. जब आप एक गेंदबाज के तौर पे मैच खेलने उतरते हैं, उसे एक शाम पहले आप जब सोच रहे होते हैं कि कल मैच शुरू होने वाला है, और मेरी भूमि क्या है मेरा रोल टीम में क्या है एक रोल तो आपको ये पता होता है कि भाई टीम में गेंदबाज के तौर पे मैं खेल रहा हूँ तो मेरा रोल है विकेट निकालना कम से कम रन देना अगर कुछ इस तरह का सेशन चल रहा है जहाँ विकटें हाथ में नहीं आ रही लेकिन कहीं ना कहीं आप अपने आप को ये भी कह रहे होते कि अगर मैं अपने आप को एक बहुत बड़ा खिलाड़ी मानता हूँ यह एक बहुत बड़ा गेंदबाज मानता हूँ तो मज़ा तभी है जब मैं उनके सबसे प्रमुख और सबसे बड़े बल्लेबाज के पीछे पढ़ूँ अश्विन 
Australia's first innings in Adelaide. अगर पिछले मैच में स्लिप की तरफ आउट किया था तो इस बार लेग स्लिप की तरफ अश्विन हैड स्मिथ्स नंबर ऑन स्पीड जस्ट हैड इट जस्ट हैड इज नंबर दैट्स व्हाट आई लाइक अबाउट एश राइट एश इज अ एश इज अ लायन एश लव्स अ फाइट एश इज अ ऑल द एंटायर वेस्ट इंडियन पेस क्वार्टर्स अग्रेशन इन एन ऑफ स्पिन लव इट अबाउट इट लव इट I think there's there was a lot of study done of Steve Smith and obviously even Warner and it helps that they all play in the IPL so players especially guys like Ashwin will pick up even some flaw that they detect and say put it in the hard disk kahin aur kaam aayega you know when we go later to Australia it will work Oh fix the bounce or you out or wahi run niti aur us jaal mein phans rahi hai Australian team Ashwin had done his homework And Ashwin had worked out that he's going to get a bit of bounce. So if he bowls tight to the line of the right hander with a bit of bounce, with a leg gully and a leg slip, the instinct sometimes, even the great players, the instinct is to just go with it, play around that front leg, get a run down the leg side. And Ashwin had got that bit extra bounce, and that was what was causing the problem. बहुत बड़ा दिन इस युवा खिलाड़ी के लिए मोहम्मद सिराज He's introducing Siraj immediately. Siraj, could you do a clap just in front of your face while that? Now. Take us around, mate. Uh, shuru karte hain. Mohammad Siraj, gendbazi ke is shuruaat karte hue. I'd been to Hyderabad in a year or so earlier. Uh, it might have been VVS Lakshman's book launch and the whole Hyderabad cricket community was gathered there. A lot of them from around the time I had played senior division in university cricket. So I knew a lot of the players gathered there and my first question to all of them was "Mia ye potta kaisa hai?" And they would all say "Zabardast hai mia lekin he needs to be focused." Or टेनिस बॉल खेलता था उठ के चले आता था कहीं तो भी पहले तो बस मैं गली क्रिकेट बस ये था कि बस खेलना है बस टाइम पास करना है बस इंजॉयमेंट के लिए खेलता था कि कभी ऐसा नहीं सोचा कि मैं इतने लेवल तक पहुंचूंगा एंड एग्जैक्टली एज डिस्क्राइब स्कॉल जस्ट एंगलिंग अक्रॉस इट्स अ गुड साइन ऑफ एग्रेशन फ्रॉम सिराज ऑस्ट्रेलिया में डेब्यू करना बहुत ही अच्छा है एज ए फास्ट बॉलर के लिए तो जब मुझे कैप मिली तो बस मैं ऐसा लग रहा था कि मेरा ये ख्वाब है पहले तो जब हम लोग क्वारंटाइन थे वो टाइम पे मेरे डैड का डेथ हो गया था तो लाइक मतलब को, कोई आ नहीं सकता मतलब रूम पे कोई मतलब वो सिचुएशन में कोई आपसे मिल नहीं सकता तो वो मेरे लिए बहुत ही डिप्रेशन था मतलब कोविड ने ऐसा कर दिया था कि मतलब मैं जा भी पाता तो मैं डैड से मिल भी नहीं पाता था क्योंकि इतने मतलब 14-15 फिफ्टीन आवर्स की जर्नी थी तो मैं यही सोचा था कि घर पे भी बात कर रहे थे मॉम से थे मॉम में भी यही बोल रहा था कि तू वहीं रहे डैड का ना मत डैड जो बोलते थे डैड का ड्रीम पूरा कर वहाँ रह के तो मैं जब वो मेरे लिए बहुत ही मुश्किल समय था वो सिचुएशन मेरे लिए वो सिचुएशन कैन यू बिलीव इट मानस हिट्स इट स्ट्राइक टू हिम इसी विकेट की जरूरत थी यहां भारत को पहला दिन है टेस्ट मैच खेलने का मौका मिला है और पहली टेस्ट विकेट ये हमेशा इनको याद रहेगी डैड का भी ड्रीम था कि बस तू देश के लिए खेल देश का नाम रोशन कर तो मेरा यही था कि बस यहाँ से मैं जो भी करूँगा डैड के लिए करूँगा ऑटो चला के इतना करके भी हम लोगों को किसी चीज़ की कमी होने नहीं दिए वो टाइम पे तो उनसे अलग ही रिलेशनशिप था वहाँ इट्स जस्ट अ वंडरफुल स्टोरी दन ऑफ एन ऑटो रिक्शो ड्राइवर इन द बैक लेन ऑफ हैदराबाद देन गोज ऑन टू प्ले क्रिकेट विद एन इन्फेक्शियस स्माइल so successfully i think it's inspirational
ओ करीबी मामला और ये आउट बहुत अच्छी गेंदबाजी है रिवर्स स्विंग का सही उपयोग Mohammed Siraj what a test he's having तो मैं ये सेलिब्रेशन इसलिए करता हूँ कि मुझे डाइट को डेडिकेट करता हूँ मैं विकेट लेके तो मैं तभी भी विकेट लेता हूँ तो मैं डाइट को डेडिकेट करता हूँ ये सब इंडियन क्रिकेट टुडे इज फुल ऑफ फेरी टेल स्टोरीज ऑफ पीपल ऑफ रैग्स टू रिचेस स्टोरीज मेनी ऑफ देम थ्रू द आई पी एल एंड मोहम्मद सिराज हैज मेड द ट्रांजिशन फ्रॉम लोकल क्रिकेट गली क्रिकेट टू Uh, state cricket to the IPL and now to Test cricket. Everybody I'd spoken to said, "Ye bade match ka bowler hai, and ye red ball player hai." Those are the two things that told me. Ye bade match khel khelega, lekin ye red ball player hai, which is what I wanted to hear. It was his desire to to want to bowl. So, so when he did get his opportunity, he was able to put it in the right areas and and kind of block out that peripheral stuff. You know, he definitely settled settled into it, but it, it was the fact that he wanted to bowl to Australia. you see him on the field and you see him playing anywhere you can see that this is what he wants to do uh, that he's desperate to be out there and you know perform play for india i'm sure you know it's a it's a trait of somebody who's come from humble background and he's thinking you know this is like the ultimate you know opportunity for me and i'm not going to let it go come what may he has got a big heart always gives 100% for the team and he is a captain's dream if you ask me if you have a fast bowler who is willing to running and bowl all day then you can you can't ask much more than that Thomas goes Siraj pushing back he settles now and beautifully taken India will go back into the change room feeling very very happy Australia ne pehli inning mein 195 run banaye hain aur wo all out ho gayi hai Australia leans on this man Pat Cummins. They'll be looking for the bowlers to get them out of trouble once again as they did in Adelaide. Chubman Gill on his test match debut he'll be really tested against a top quality Australian attack. Welcome back to the Boxing Day Test. And uh, 195, the sixth lowest score for Australia on day one of a Boxing Day Test since 1946. They'll be looking for the bowlers to get them out of trouble once again, as they did in Adelaide. Chubman Gill on his test match debut he'll be really tested on a pitch that certainly has been offering a little bit for the bowlers I've been fortunate enough to see uh, Shubman Gill um, at the under-19 level. When he was coming to the Australian shores, um, I was telling a lot of my fellow journalists, I said, "Watch out for this guy! You know, wonderful technique, um, but he's also got the ability to to score quickly and try and take on the bowlers." Shubman Gill, Ella match, Yadgar Din Boxing Day Test match, Melbourne the ground, बहुत बड़ा लम्हा है इनकी ज़िंदगी में. Well, he's been uh, somebody who I'd heard a lot about, particularly after the under-19 uh, uh, competition uh, in uh, in New Zealand, where a lot of uh, people who who played a lot of Test cricket uh, came in and said that, look, he he is probably the the most promising of your of your youngsters. Uh. That'd be Shubman Gill on strikes to face his first ball in Test cricket. and he's facing the number one bowler in the world. <laughs> Tough examination for the young man. Good luck. Happy to just let that one go.
First runs, first runs, he's up and running. He's got a boundary in test match cricket, well started young man. The moment you see Shubman Gill bat for the first time, your first reaction is wow. And when he plays that back foot punch drive through the covers, you say, hey, Sachin Tendulkar out there. Takes on the short oh. ball, just swatted it away on the leg side. Kamal ka shot. Isi liye inko ek special player kaha jata hai. Here's a guy making his way in Test match cricket for the first time. He's got all the shots. He plays the short ball nicely. He's going to be a wonderful player. He's got some fantastic strokes. He's got a very good hook shot, and he cuts the ball well. Especially in Australian pitches, you need those horizontal bat shots because otherwise you can be strokeless. Nicely cut away by Gill. I try not to be biased, but I see, I see him play on the 19 World Cup and I saw a really special player. I, I mean, so, sometimes when we, when we follow the game, it's as stupid as just seeing one shot. It's as stupid as just seeing a 20-run score, a four, a cut, a pull, and you go, cool, there's a special player. And, you, and sometimes you can't explain it, but you see something special in someone. I saw that in him as an under-19 cricketer. I then followed his career, obviously, because of that. I see a bit, I love going to India and working out there. I see a bit of domestic cricket, I see the IPL, and I see him develop as a player, and I saw him play in that Test Series, and I went, wow, wow. He's playing his first Test match, Debu. He's not 27, 28 years old, but he's facing Stark and Cummins and Hazelwood. He's not phased at all by facing these bowlers. That's one of the qualities that is now there in, in this team and in Indian cricket. I mean, how good is he? Seriously. He is an absolute superstar. You could just see in his technique as well, his temperament, just how relaxed he is at the crease. Look, they've found someone. Very wristy, beautiful cricket stroke. Wow, what timing. He just looks unflappable at the crease. Oh. Well, he's got an edge. He's got him. Pat Cummins. Shubman Gill couldn't help himself. Edge taken. What a take from Tim Payne. Hello, Megan. Ajinkarane, 11 centuries to his name. It's been a while since he scored a century against Australia. But as the Indian captain, he'll want to lead here at the MCG. See, Ajinkya Rahane is a very interesting uh, cricketer at this stage. When you think of Ajinkya Rahane at this stage and when he was in Australia, captaincy would have put no pressure on him. Uh, Ajinkya Rahane, the batsman, I think feels the pressure a little more. Unko is game ke baare mein koi anuman nahi tha kitna uchal hoga. Ajinkya Rahane is battling at the moment in security. After he got dropped from the Indian team once, I think after that he just has become very, uh, you know, self-doubting. He feels whether he is good enough to be in this team and every time he goes out to bat, you get the impression that he's playing for a place in the team. You look at what happened the previous test, but also he ran out Virat Kohli, who was certainly looking like he was going to post 100. So to have that feeling of, mm, I've just burnt my teammate, the other end, who's the captain, all out for 36, go to the MCG. Um, lots of talk about, well, is India a decent side without Virat Kohli? So now that I've got this opportunity, there's no Virat, the team's batting is weakened. Now is my opportunity to, or my responsibility, to lead the team out of trouble. When he became captain, I remember all the experts, all my fellow, panelists in the studio, commentators, none of us felt that, you know, we're going to miss Virat Kohli, the captain. 
the batter, yes, massive setback, you know, big hole in that batting lineup. You think of the pressure he was under, the, the, the pressure of a cricket loving nation who were absolutely distraught at what they saw a week ago. And now it's over to you, Ajinkarani, who himself didn't score runs in that first test match. So he's got twofold here. He's got to sort his own game out, but he's also got to somehow haul his team who have been mauled in that first test match. And he's got to haul them back over that white line and get them out there and get them back into winning ways. Nips back in, a bit of bat perhaps. You have control in the middle of the game. You have control Look, there is one word that defines every Mumbai batsman, and that's the word khadus. I've always tried to look for an English equivalent of khadus, but I think it is basically never say die. Once I'm on the wicket, you will have to do your damnedest to get me out. That's the Mumbai way of batting, and I think Ajinkya Rahane at Melbourne in the Boxing Day test showed that spirit. Excellently played, really well played. Captaining the side in the absence of Virat Kohli, who's brilliant in the field as a captain. And he's playing his part now with the bat as well. Well played. When you've travelled every day in the morning, as a young man from Dombivli into town, uh, as Ajinkya did, two hours on a crowded local, Khadu's attitude, that determined never say attitude, is built within you. Is Mukableka ye pehla arshatak hai. इससे पता चलता है कितना संघर्ष कितना मेहनत करनी पड़ी होगी इस बल्लेबाज को यहां तक पहुंचने में व्हाट ही प्लेड वाज वाज अ प्रॉपर टेस्ट इनिंग्स ही स्टार्टेड वॉचफुली एंड देन ही स्टार्टेड टू ओपन अप एज सून एज ही सेटल्ड इन फेल्ट कंफर्टेबल विद द वे द बॉल वाज कमिंग ऑन टू द बैट सो दैट्स अ काइंड ऑफ टेस्ट इनिंग्स दैट इज देयर ही वाज कमिंग इनटू द मैच नॉट इन फॉर्म and through the innings got back his form i'll never forget i think he had a punch drive when he was in the, in his 80s that went for four that's a nice strike by rahane and for the first time he sort of had a little bit of a fist pump and a smile on his face because he knew he was back in form he was in the zone and he knew something that no one else did wow you know seems like everything's fallen into place this is the quality of certain players that you know when when the going gets tough the tough get going and you realize as a captain now it's up to me you know if the team has to do well now it i have to lead by example that might be it a hundred to cherish and a hundred to remember for ajinkya rahane we often use the word captain's knock Gee, in every sense of the word, this is what it is. He's been the glue to this Indian innings. 64 for three, it was. It's 268 for five. To be very, very proud of this innings. Well played, Ajit Rahane. Rahane ki is pari ka tum kya lagaoge mol? Arey tol sakho to tol lo. Ye pari hai anmol. Kamal ki pari. Ek kaptani pari kheli apni team ke liye. There is no better time for a knock like that. You could see that he was very focused and he wanted to do well so badly. In many ways, that was a series-changing hundred because it came on the back of a disastrous innings score by India, and India again in trouble in that match till that century uh, from uh, Ajinkya Rahane. It will be an innings that we all talk about. Those that love the game, Test match cricket, Australia, India, England, the, some of the great iconic series that we've ever seen and been able to talk about and watch. That will be one of the great innings, absolutely. If you look at the uh, situation of the game, if you look at the situation of the series we were in, to count all that, I think it, it's got to be up there with one of the best hundreds. You know, it's it's the kind of innings when you're done with the game and you've got little toddlers around, they look up to you and say, "Azuba, now tell me what happened," and you say, "I made a hundred in the in the Boxing Day Test match in Melbourne." when we've been pulled out for 36 and changed the course of a game there was a river flowing in one way and i was i was the dam i was the i was the edge that made it flow some somewhere else it represented uh, an attitude of resilience that we love seeing in sport it's an innings that uh, needs to be written in letters of gold uh, 
in in the history of uh, Indian cricket whenever that history is written by absolutely impartial minds a century that all of india can savor a special special moment the standing captain has delivered got well, india definitely in front in this game at the moment Indeed, it was a very strong statement from the captain, Ajinka Rahane, 104 not out of 200 balls. He wanted to lead this team with endeavour and determination, and he truly did that. It was uh, fine leadership as India looked to bounce back from the devastation of Adelaide, and they've uh, put a strong performance on the board in the first two days. That's all ahead of us. Please sit back, relax, get settled. A big day of test cricket coming up. अभी तक जो मैच पे अगर नजर डालें तो एक खिलाड़ी जो सबसे अलग नजर आया है वो है भारतीय कप्तान अजिंक्य रहाणे पहला सेशन आज तीसरे दिन सबकी नजर होगी इस सेशन के ऊपर What are Australia going to give us today they've been uh, disappointing yesterday Pressure on Australia. Mitchell Stark ki bohat hi badiya shuruat. Classic. Well, that's a hundred partnership. That's massive. Bowler ke base ka istemal kiya. Bohat achha shot kiya. India, I think way ahead in this game. I have no doubts in my mind. Yes, you've got to keep that in mind what happened in the last game. I don't think it's going to happen every day. So, I'm just trying to say Australia has given Bazi ki aur jo sawal puche uska jawab Shubman Gill ne diya tha, Cheteshwar Pujara ne defence se diya tha aur Shubman Gill ne thodi si attacking batting karke diya tha. Uske baad mein jo do wickete gayi gayi the uske uske baad mein ye zaruri tha ki ek partnership bane aur wo abhi hamen mili hai aur Jadeja aur Rahane ki jo partnership hai. Jadeja is 49. It's been one of his better test innings. Well, there it is, the breakthrough Australia have been searching for for so long. Unbelievable bit of fielding. He was so quick to the ball and the release. Pachas ke chakkar mein Ajinkya Rahane run out hue. Nice touch from Rahane there, for him just to give him a tap on the bat saying don't worry, keep going, your job's not done, is, is good leadership. Very selfless man, yeah. putting the team first. Very different players, Virat Kohli and Ajinkya Rahane. One wears his emotion on his sleeve, one keeps it inside him, but both equally strong players. And so both have their way of reacting to a situation. It didn't surprise me because I remembered a moment many years earlier when he was on 99 playing for the Rajasthan Royals and got out playing a big shot when he could have tapped a single because he thought they still needed the runs in the last over. And that had already told me everything I wanted to know about Ajinkya Rahane as a person. Because he knew that if he had shown emotion, his partner at the other end, who's already feeling bad, would have felt even worse. Just a little pat on the back. Everyone's been in that situation before. Everyone knows what it is. Everyone makes mistakes. Pat on the back. Listen, it happened. Now go and make go and make it bigger. It, it just told me everything I wanted to know about Ajinkya Rahane all over again. So that's the second time this series the captain's been run out. And uh, great innings, 112 Ajinkya Rahane. Something we're all touched by as we let you go, Skipper. Uh, run out in the end, Jadeja, looking for a single for his 50. And we <laughs> saw you after the decision come through. You went and have a chat with him. 
from where we were, you were just patting him on the shoulder saying, it's okay. Is that the message? Because it, um, it was something that quite captured our imagination up here. Yeah, I thought, initially I thought I was in, but when I saw I was just short, uh, I told him, don't worry about it, just uh, back yourself as a batsman and uh, I think his contribution uh, was really important and he batted really well. So message was just uh, not to think about my run out, but keep uh, carrying on from there. And is that the same message Virat gave you last week in Adelaide with the run out? <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, I got out uh, after I think after two, three overs, but yeah, he said it's okay. So, <laughs> cricket, you got to uh, move forward, uh, keep thinking positive and be strong. Thank you, Skipper. Well played today. And again, thanks for the entertainment in your innings. Well, well played, mate. Thanks, Bonnie. Welcome back to the magnificent MCG. Australia trailing by 131. Just bowled India out for 326. And pressure on that top order. They're up against a man who averages 10.92 at the MCG. Five, 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 yeah, five. Yeah, big wicket. Let's take a hit. Getting me. Samne me achu wait. Wrapped on the pads. It was definitely pitching outside the leg stump. On the foot, given not out. Edged, gone! That is an absolute beaut of a delivery from Umesh Yadav. Well, this was outstanding, Ishi. The in swingers from Bumra, but a beautiful out swinger from Umesh Yadav. That was a pearler. an issue here for India. Umesh Yadav has pulled up very lame in the follow through there. That's not a good sign that. Yeah, he's just heading straight off isn't he? I wonder if it's left calf or something. It will be to see how bad injury Umesh Yadav has been because India has to contribute to the other side of this game. Three for 35 in the first innings, Ashwin. He's been outstanding in the series to this point and seems to be really enjoying that extra responsibility in the absence of Virat Kohli as a senior player. Oh, taken! That's the curveball from Ashwin. And it's a crucial wicket. Labashain gone. Lavashain bats like Steve Smith, out like Steve Smith in Adelaide. That's a dagger through Australia's heart, the number three out. And in comes Steve Smith, the number one batter in the world. It's a huge moment in the game. India still ahead by 89 runs. Oh, gone! He doesn't know it. He doesn't know it, but the leg bail is off the groove. Boomer has just spotted it. Bold round the legs. The whole world has tried it for a number of years. India have finally done it. That's a major moment in this game. There aren't too many bigger scalps in the world of cricket than Steve Smith, and he's got to go. He's disappointed. But India, right back on the front foot. I just felt that India, there was no stone unturned. No stone unturned, whatever. This is a very, very decent Australian. Not the best Australian side of all time, but a very decent one in their home condition. How can we back up what we did in 2018? Do you know one of the major obstacles is going to be Steve Smith and Marnus Levin? Very similar players. And they got their planning spot on. Appeal! Appeal! Or out there! Miss Kardia Wahape! 
Matthew Verde. Matthew Wade's uh, batting, you know, defied logic. It was an insight into Australian cricket that they didn't have much depth in their cricket. You know, from the 90s and until 2015, we looked at Australia as this great champion team. And you would think if there are three, four guys missing, there would be enough there to, you know, cover for them. But during the series, uh, we realized that barring Steve Smith and Labu Shane, they were struggling to find, uh, you know, adequate replacement. And also the fact that India was coming hard at them and didn't seem like a team that was going to be easy to beat. Goal! Gone! Perfect delivery. Didn't turn as much as Hazelwood thought. The Australian innings is over. India needs 70 runs to win and level the series. What a performance with the bat. What a performance with the ball. India picked an attack that worked. Different bowlers, not everyone bowled the same. Different tactics, different skills, different weapons. Um, so credit needs to go to India for you know their execution, but also Australia. They might have took for granted their success in the first test. Welcome back. Probably going to be the final session then of. Uh this test match, the second test match, the Boxing Day test match, Border Gavaskar Trophy. This is the weather that is going to stay in this way. The weather will be big for cricket. The pitch is good. And the country has a big opportunity to win this match. So it's uh, 70 runs to win. I'm sure uh, Indian fans are slightly nervous after what happened uh, at the end of the game in Adelaide, 36 all out. The Aussies will be thinking, come on, we've done it before, could lightning strike again? Uh... Yeah! And start with early wickets again. The door just ever so slightly open for Australia. Gone. Pujara gone cheaply. Two down India. Are they on the back foot? And Cummins Pujara ko is what are in England and Kartewe. Shajinka Rahane, magnificent in the first innings. He provided the foundation, but now comes out with just a delicate little situation. <laughs> Business as usual for a jinker. <laughs> I'm sure there's plenty of nerves going on inside the captain. There was a level of calmness, wasn't there? Um, and that was evident at, at the MCG. Um, India never panicked. Uh, they could have easily after the Adelaide test. And I do think it, it has something to say about him as a captain. He doesn't get too flustered in any situation, which is what you need sometimes in international cricket. I think a captain, um, and when they're out in the field and things aren't going well, or if you have to deal with the press afterwards, I always liken them to ducks on ponds. Now, when a duck is on the water, they look nice and graceful and smooth, but underneath the water, <laughs> the legs are going 100 miles an hour. And I think as a captain, you have to internalize the panic because you, everyone turns to you and looks at your emotions to guide you of how you get through a tricky situation. Takes it on with confidence. There's no man out in the deep. He'll open his account with a boundary. And the total now to win under 50. Badia, achel lagne, shumman gil. Shot, flashes away, Captain Rahane. Yeah, Gill takes advantage of the full toss. India on the charge at the MCG. Commanding stroke off the back foot. Oh, Kamal 
that shot. The captain means business. 18 to win for India. Confusion. They get back. Chasing the winning run. And he pulls one and there's a fumble and they'll get that single. चलिए जीत गई है मुकाबला भारत यहाँ और एक एक की बराबरी हो गई है इस श्रृंखला में tremendous stuff yeah. from India full of character full of fight full of resilience full of leadership qualities from the man who hit the winning runs and what a moment for Ajinka Rahani what a moment for young Shubman Gill Adelaide का वाक्य अगर तुम्हारा था Australia तो मेलबर्न की दासता हमारी है um, I thought they were brilliant. There's no doubt about it. I think they surprised everybody. I think there was a combination of both. India deserved a lot of credit, but I think Australia, like I say, missed the trick. I think that was their time to to dominate and own the test series. Certainly not the players expected India to win the second test match. After that, 36 all out. For India to respond as they did, I think it was it was something very special and, and you could see what it meant to the players and to the people back home as well who'd been really suffering the lockdown, the pandemic, just gave them some hope and, and, and they, that's how they spoke about it as well. You know, they were doing this for their families and the people back home. We were we we मतलब ऐसा सोच रहे थे कि हर कोई जब बैटिंग पे जाता है तो बस यही सोच रहा था कि रन्स बनाओ कुछ करो यहाँ पर तो अलग ही माहौल बन गया था जब हम लोग मैच जीते थे पहला मैच। A team that was bonding in a very different way in the face of everybody writing them off. Again, with that nothing to lose attitude, and I really think that that is what worked for India. And that is what undid Australia. Perhaps they'll be better served to answer it, but maybe a little bit of complacency can set in when you get a champion team like India out for 36 and, and win a test match so convincingly. You can almost start thinking that you're immortal. Right? And here comes these 11 Indian bruised and battered soldiers. And they pin you to the wall. Well, the newspapers were actually taken by surprise. They they didn't uh, understand what had happened. Uh, they had all been like, you know, uh, India knocked out for 36. Their captain gone. It is like, you know, it's going to it's the end of the world for Indian cricket. But uh, it it wasn't. So they were completely taken by surprise. They didn't know actually how to react. Uh, uh, they were uh, grudgingly uh, uh, praising uh, the the Indian team for the comeback that they made. We understood the importance of that win and what how uh, how much it mattered uh, for our side, uh, especially with uh, Virat going back and a few players being injured. Uh, to win that game in Melbourne uh, set that th set things up for us in the series going forward. And Rahani's method of you know speaking to the senior players, uh, you know trying to get their opinion, uh, uh, it certainly seemed to have worked because you know you could see that you know they they were all saying, look, let's now we we've, we've been in a bad situation being knocked out for 36 let's uh, let's get together and uh, get better from uh, what we did in Adelaide at the end of it collectively there is a certain cultural shift that has happened and a mindset shift that has happened which does not change with the change in captaincy what is important is that you still get the best out of the players even if the original captain is not there that is the challenge that Ajinkya had um, and I think we, we probably took things for granted and expected that we would just easily or naturally win the game. Um, but what it showed me was the Indian players that um, there probably wasn't or isn't as much expectation on compared to someone like Virat Kohli was still here to play. Test match for the ages. Because when you come back from a 36 all out in Australia against a full strength Australian side, it told you there was a lot of steel, a lot of steel, and that is what you really wanted to see. And that's why I was very, very happy to see how they came back in, in Melbourne. It was, uh, I mean, what were we to know of what was to follow? But now when you look back, you say, oh, maybe Melbourne was a start, 
of a fairy tale phase in Indian test cricket. Can't wait to get you to the Gabarash. Tell you what. Woo, woo.